the, the one that comes to mind is the local one. You know, you get a shot, you get some discomfort there, you can get headache, you can get fatigue. Some people get a temperature, which is not unusual. Now with this particular vaccine, you know, after you get the second dose, the side effects tend to be a little bit more severe and people get more body aches. Um, but the key thing is that you should not think you have COVID because you got the vaccine, because that's what people ask. You know, they're like, oh, I got COVID from the vaccine. And we did not mention that this is not a live vaccine. So that's really important to stress that, that this is not a live virus. Great point, that's right, it's not a live vaccine. You cannot get COVID-19 from either of these vaccines. Um, I do wanna say one thing, you mentioned the important point to expect these side effects. And they're very similar between Moderna and the Pfizer vaccines. Maybe the Moderna vaccine has a new numerically a little bit higher amount of side effects, but I don't even know if it's statistically significant between the two. Uh, you mentioned the common ones. Uh, I think what, what is important is to remember that um, while many people, maybe most people do have some side effects from both vaccines, they tend to resolve quickly within one to two days. And that is one way to distinguish something like COVID-19 or another viral illness that you could get coincidentally uh, versus just the side effects from this, which really should go away within 48 hours. And they, most of them occur within 72 hours. Absolutely, but I will make sure we stress the point that if something is going on beyond 72 hours that you need to contact your healthcare provider just to discuss if there's something else going on because things should have resolved, like you said, within 72 hours.